Today I'm going to be showing you all weapon upgrade and schematic locations. These are all going to be in order maps shown so you will not miss any. So our first schematic is the pulse rounds. This is in chapter two. After coming down the vent in zero gravity, you are going to enter this room and right on your left is the pulse round schematic. Next we have the stasis pack schematic. This is also on chapter two during the main objective, find a shock pad and it is located in the save room right here. Next we have our first upgrade for the plasma cutter. This is located right after setting off the bomb in the next room. Next we have the medium med pack schematic. This is located immediately after the decontamination shower during activate the centrifuge. Immediately after it is located right here. Next up we have the schematic for the rubber blades in the engineering section. As you make your way down you're gonna get ambushed by a bunch of little creepy crawly things. They come out of this room right here. The schematic is located right there. Next up we have the schematic for flamethrower fuel right where you start igniting the engines. The control panel flamethrower fuel schematic is right on the chair. Next we have the weapon upgrade for the pulse rifle. During reroute power from electrical systems, it is in the lock building. This is how you open it. Just toss that aside, shoot that, and the weapon upgrade is right there. Next we have our first rig upgrade. Immediately after getting the main objective, calibrate 380S cannons. You'll come into this hallway, go into this room right there on the bench. Next we have the line rack schematic. Take note to the main objective and it is located right there. Next we have a weapon upgrade for the Ripper in this very notable section with the sprays. You're going to take the first door on the left, right there, and it is directly in front of you when you enter the room. Next we have the force energy schematic. When you're flying up in zero gravity and there's the lightning, you have the stasis recharge center. Can't miss it. When you get to this section, you're going to get ambushed by so many little things with the tentacles in this room right there directly ahead. Next we have the contact energy schematic. This is in chapter seven mining section, right by the save to the right of it. As you can see, there's a locked door. So what you wanna do is just shoot that. And the schematic is just laying on the table for you. Next we have the intermediate minor rig schematic. This can't be missed. It's right next to the find the SOS beacon, right where the beacon is. Schematic is right there. Next we have a weapon upgrade for the flamethrower. In chapter 7, when you get zero gravity, go to the side that you started on for the train and just go down to the right. And right in this room, directly ahead of you, is the weapon upgrade. Next we have the oxygen tank schematic. This is not on any mission path. You need security clearance level 2. At the end of chapter seven is the best time. Instead of taking the tram, just run across and then you'll go to the engineering section. And from there, you're going to make your way to here. And there it is. Next in chapter eight, we have a weapon upgrade for the plasma cutter. Shortly after receiving the main objective, deploy the antenna, go down an elevator, make your way to this room and it's right on the bench. Next in chapter nine, we have the large med pack schematic. Now you need to get this in mission nine. It's the only chapter that you can get this schematic in this room, which is very notable. You have to come through here. It is right there. 
Our last schematic for the advanced raid can be found in chapter 10 near the mini game for the basketball. Come to this location and it is right there. Our next weapon upgrade for the force gun can be acquired in chapter 10. For the moment, please disregard the main objective on the screen. So when in the deluxe quarters, you'll destroy tentacles. After destroying the second tentacle, you'll head in this room and there'll be a cutscene. When it ends, enter this room, get the upgrade. If you leave without getting the upgrade for the rest of the playthrough, this door becomes locked under master level clearance and you'll need to have that in order to open the door and get it on that playthrough. But it is easily acquired on chapter 10. Just wait for the cutscene to end. Our next upgrade requires security three clearance. Take the tram to medical, then take the security door right when you get off the train and follow the path that I'm going. And there it is. Our next upgrade also requires security three clearance. Take the tram to medical, take the security door right when you get off the tram to get to right where I was, the central hub. And to the left of the store is the first door. You'll just follow the path that I'm going. Now this is New Game Plus, but it is right in here. Our next upgrade is for the contact beam. Head to the mining deck and you're going to move these boxes, whatever, move them around a little bit so you gain access to this door. Inside this door is a master override chest for your last upgrade for the contact beam. Our next upgrade is for the force gun. This can be found in chapter 11. Right after you start the chapter, you're going to go down an elevator. You're going to enter this room and there is a master security chest that contains the upgrade. Our next upgrade is for the ripper. Head through the tram station to engineering and then head through the preparation room down to the machine shop. In the back, right where I am, you will find a master override chest containing the final upgrade for the Ripper. Our next weapon upgrade, as well as all the rest of the weapon upgrades, all require the master override. So you're going to take the tram to the atrium. Then you're going to take the elevator down, and as you can see, the elevator right there and the star. So immediately when you get off the elevator, just look to your right and it's in one of the lockers. Our next upgrade belongs to the line gun. To acquire this one, go to the hydroponics, right where you fought the main boss, the central hub, and we have this master override chest. Inside the chest is our last upgrade for the line gun. Our last upgrade is for the flamethrower. Take the tram station to the crew station, then take the crew deck door, and follow the path that I'm going. We are taking floor number one.
And right here in this Master Override chest is our final weapon upgrade for the Flamethrower. And that is all weapon upgrade and schematic locations. If you like the video, leave a like, comment, share. It helps others find the video. I hope that helped.